All right, man, we got the ones off in the back. You want to take it down the front now? Yeah, let's get the front, man. Hey, out of the way. Thanks a lot for your help, man. I'd hate to have to be the one to climb up on that roof, you know. No problem. Uh, oh, hey, let me get this stuff over here. Hey, what? is that the house you were talking about, the one across the street? Yeah, that's the house. They leave their lights on all year long? They leave their lights on all year long. Get out. Can't wish I could. <laughs> Why all year? Well, what they do is, as the seasons change, the colors of the light bulbs change. You're kidding. Uh, do I look like I'm kidding? So like the 4th of July? 4th of July, they go red, white, and blue. Thanksgiving. Harvest colors. Halloween? Black and orange. Memorial Day. Camouflage. Get out. I can't <laughs> wish I could. <laughs> That's got to be so embarrassing for the community. Oh, it is. It's like a giant albatross. And you know, when there's no particular season going on, they change those lights to red hot chili pepper lights. Red hot chili pepper lights? <laughs> red hot chili pepper lights. Now give me one reason why I should celebrate the pepper. I can't. I wish I could. I don't even want to know what they do for Valentine's. Oh, no, you don't. And I'm telling you, man, those lights are on all year long. Yeah. You know, I got to tell you, <laughs> your neighbors are kind of like a Motel 6. Oh, oh, you know it, man. And you know, it's my wife is like, Oh, but they look so pretty. Can't we just leave them on a little while longer? Let's leave them on all year like the neighbors do. And I'm like, hey, come on. It's Christmas, you know? When Christmas is done, it's done. Zip naughty. You box the stuff up and you put it away. It could be like the uh, people down the road. They keep their lights up all year and just flip them on post Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. The Kurtz residence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's kind of creepy, though, man. <laughs> well, it, it looks all right, I guess. I mean... Your wife Oh, might have now, a... wait a second here, Benedict Arnold. Now, whose side are you on here? Yours. Uh, so, no, look at <laughs> Hey, I don't care, man. I'm not changing my mind on this. This is it. I'm right. Look, do you want my help or not? I do want your help. All right. I'm going to go get my gloves, and I'll be right back in a minute. All right. All right. <sighs> I mean, come on. Isn't Christmas enough? We decorate our house to the nines. We even put out the manger scene. I mean, we do it all. But why would I leave them out just a little while longer? Let's last the whole year. I mean, what am I going to do for New Year's Eve? Put the baby in swaddling confetti? I can't do that. I mean, when it's over, it's over. You box it up. Why isn't that enough? Why isn't that enough? Okay, it isn't enough. To box up Jesus when I get tired and take him out whenever it's convenient for me, I mean, that's not just the holidays. That's like my whole life. I compartmentalize things. I never really let them transform and consume every part of me. That's why my wife wanted me to leave the lights on. She's so sneaky that way. I guess if someone were to compare the lights in the front of my house to the inside job of my heart, my heart would be very dark. And it's not God, it's me. Okay, so what do I do with this transformation? I got to change, I guess. So I will. I'll let God transform the inside of my heart. And I'm going to let him shine. I shine on the dark stuff, my sin, my bad habits, my selfishness, the bitterness that's taken over the joy over the years. I have an inside job done. I'll let my lights stay on a little longer. I'll let my lights be an outward symbol of a commitment of the inward job he's going to do. Okay, they'll stay on. And to make matters worse, I'm standing out here in my front yard and I'm talking to myself. That's bad. All right, got my gloves on. You ready to do this? Now I'm ready to do it, man. Let's go. They're all going back on. Back on? Back on. Even the ones in the backyard. How long? Uh, just a little, well, all year. All year? All year. You're going to leave your lights on all year long? Yep. You know, you're going to be ridiculed for that, right? Yep. Made fun of? Uh-huh. Possibly talked about behind your back. Oh. And you're going to be just a second one of that guy. That's right. So why the change of heart? Well, that's just it, man. It's a change of heart thing, you know? I mean, I'm all hollow on the inside, and I've got these lights that they shine, you know, so I care about what other people think, and I'm never really concerned about the real thing, you know? Are we still talking about Christmas lights? Yeah. All right, I'm here, I got my gloves, I'm ready to work. So let's take down the lights, box them up, put them away, take them out next year when it's the right time, and we'll do it all over again. I can't, but I wish I could.
Matthew chapter 5, verses 14 through 16. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven.